Adam Turner, PGC Basketball. Jared Culver has exploded onto the scene in this NCAA tourney. He's led Texas Tech to the Final Four, and he's jumped up ESPN's draft board. He's now number seven. So this is a guy we're going to be seeing as a pro for a long time, and we wanted to feature him this week on our Monday Move. For somebody as explosive and dynamic as Culver is, defenses have to worry first and foremost about his dynamic ability to get to the basket and finish at the rim, so this opens up opportunity. He has a number of different things in his package, but one of the moves that you're going to see him use the most in this Final Four is he's going to utilize the defense overplaying his drives and playing him to get to the rim to just use a little one dribble pull up jump shot that we at PGC call a boom one two. The boom one two is different than your regular pull up. On a normal pull up jump shot that most of us have practiced our whole lives, we shot fake, the defense goes by, and we have time and space to get our rhythm into our jump shot. The boom one two is a useful tool when the defense is in front of you and you need to create space without them going by you. So you're going to use your dribble and your feet to create separation, even though the defense is still in front of you. So let's break down the pieces here of how this works. The first one is you have to have a hard boom dribble. So what Culver does is a lot of times he actually just uses a one dribble boom one two pull up. And that one dribble is hard, it's violent, it's quick. And what this does is as you take that hard boom dribble, you actually lower your body. This sells to the defense, I'm gonna go by, and it puts them on their heels. The final piece to the boom one two is the footwork. And you see Culver execute this impeccably. You have to have fast feet. Put really simply, the faster your feet are, the more separation you gain. If you get your feet planted quickly and set quickly, it gives the defense less time to recover and contest your shot. A trigger you can use to make sure you're as quick as you can be is to squeak your second sneaker. Your first foot's gonna land heel first, your second one should land toe first and squeak to a halt. But once again, this move is only gonna work extremely well if you have the reputation as a driver. So you've gotta be an all around player. Culver has that rep that he can get to the basket and score when he wants to. So now defenses start to get on their heels and this is a counter to his ability to get to the rack. This move is gonna translate to the NBA level incredibly well. With a 24 second shot clock, teams need guys who can be creators when that clock starts to wind down and Culver can definitely be that at the next level. If you wanna add go-to moves to your package, if you wanna become a dynamic scorer, if you wanna add this boom one two into what you do, we teach this at a number of our different courses, but I would come join us at scoring college this summer or shooting college in the fall. 